Hello, my name is Elsa. I'm a professional software developer, and um, let's uh, let's talk about passing data. So you can come into several situations where you have a data of a certain type that you want to be another type. That's 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 a thing, um, and you can see in this case that. Uh, what we did in the previous video was that we uh, passed the input from the console um, and we have that in a try catch because if the input was a string value then this right here int pass will break so let's uh, let's do some stuff with our string first so let's create a string call it input and Let's just read that from the console. Nope. So what we're doing now is we're reading from the console and passing the input uh, into a string variable. So we're putting whatever we type in the console into a string variable. Actually, let's get rid of all this stuff because we don't need it. Good. So, let's say that uh, that we want to pass it into uh, a, an int. So, we can do int number equals int pass input. And this is all fine if it is a number, but if it isn't, it will break. Uh, your program will stop working because we're not handling the error anymore. But there is something pretty cool we can do, because we can uh, create the variable int, set that to zero, and then we can go if int try pass. Oh, try pass, and we give it a parameter, the input, which is the console line that we have read, and then we can out. I have misspelled number. And as you can see, Visual Studio already knows what we want to do, but it doesn't matter. There we go. So, <coughs> what's going on here? Uh, we have our string input, and we have declared a variable called number, which is zero now. And what we are then doing uh, putting into an if statement that if we can pass input we will put it out into number and then we will go inside this if statement if we can't we will uh, just write to the console right line um, not a number and remember the semicolon Cool. So, so, right line, number. And in this case, number, even though it's an int, is being treated like a string. Um, it will be uh, written out as it was a string, but we can do stuff to pass it back into a string. And there can be many good reasons to doing this, but this is just proof of concept, so it doesn't really make any sense, but let's do it anyway. Basically, all data types have two string. And it does exactly as it says. It's a method that will simply pass whatever it's attached to into a string. Nifty, right? So what we're doing now is basically getting a string, passing it in to an int, then returning it as a string. And let's see how that runs. It's a very inefficient way to do it, but it works. And just to demonstrate uh, how uh, try pass works, if we give it ABC, it will say not a number, because this statement right here basically says, can I pass this input into an integer? If I can, great, let's do this. Else, let's write that it's not a number. 
nifty, right?